In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of Articulate 360 so that you can see how the apps and resources help you build great e-learning. So when you first install Articulate 360, you're going to get a desktop app to manage your applications and resources. And you'll see the little Articulate icon in your system tray in the bottom corner. If you click on that, you'll get a window that looks like this. Now in this case, you can see that we have some desktop apps. Uh, those can be installed on your system and so they're always available to you to work from. And then down over here we have our web applications and resources. And those you need an internet connection to work with. So let's look at the desktop apps first. So you'll notice that the desktop apps say open except for replay. That means I have to install replay. But the ones that are already installed will say open. Uh, sometimes you may get a notice that those need to be updated. So just go ahead and update those if you want to. So if you want to work from your desktop, you click on an app and open it up. You'll notice a little drop down arrow. Uh, you can learn more about the tools and you can also in uninstall them. So you don't need to have everything installed at one time. For example, you may just want to work in Storyline and not use any of the other desktop tools and that's your prerogative. In this case, we notice that Replay is not installed. So if I want to install it, I just click on Install. And you'll know it goes through the process of installing the application. And then once it's done, it's available to me. All I have to do is hit open and I can start uh, working in Replay. So that's working with the desktop apps. If you want to work with the web apps down here, uh, you need to have an internet connection. And all you need to do is launch that. So we're going to go ahead and launch Review and see what we have. And that takes me inside of a course here. So the course is working so I can preview that. I can also share that. So I get a link. I can set a password. I can share that. And then I can solicit some feedback. So in this case we can see we already have some feedback. And I can just have this dialogue with my subject matter experts or my teammates. If I click on feedback up here, I can see all the different feedback. And if something's resolved, you can see I have the option of resolving that. So that's working with review. So that's where you can see all your different courses. Now if I click on the drop down here, let's come back to Articulate 360. Now this is what I see online. So Rise is an authoring tool. If I click on that, you'll see that I can start building courses. I can create a new course. I can work with existing courses. I'm going to go ahead and click on an existing course. And I can start editing that. Uh, Rise is really super easy to work with. Just watch the other tutorials to learn more. But you can see I've got my lessons here. I can edit those. If I want to preview those, I can see what they look like on different devices. So here's what it looks like on a desktop. And here's what it looks like on the phone. So Rise is super easy to work with. If you have courses that you need to create quickly, you can just take your content and copy it into Rise. And then you get this fully responsive mobile output that will work on any device. It's super easy. It's going to make you look like a rock star. Let's go ahead and get out of that. So let's look at the other resources that we have. Uh, if we click on our Articulate 360 drop down, uh, we'll click back into here. Now we already looked at Rise. We looked at Review. If we click on Content Library, what you're going to get with the desktop tools is the ability to insert templates and characters. Online you'll have a catalog of all the different templates. You can see here and then all the different characters. So you can see what's available to you. And the way you would access those is that you would open up your application. So Studio or Storyline. And then you can download templates and you can download uh, characters and use those in your courses right from inside the tool. So it's really simple to work with. Let's come over here and look at the last thing. The last thing we'll look at, and we'll click back in here, is Articulate Live. Now Articulate Live is going to give you a list of all of your upcoming webinars. One of our commitments to you is that we want to make sure that you get the most out of the investment you've made with Articulate. So we've got a series of webinars planned and that we'll do all the time. We'll always have like a welcome or getting started with the tools webinar. So you can ask questions. We'll do a quick overview and show you how things work. Uh, and then we'll do some tools and instructional design type webinars that are a little bit more structured and, f and formal or kind of what you'd expect for a webinar. And then we also have some informal or more organic type webinars where we'll solicit questions from uh, customers or we'll go in the community and see what people are asking and then we'll answer those questions. So uh, the, the Articulate Live will provide you a lot of resources and help you out. And then of course you have the eLearning Heroes community and all those getting started tutorials. And you can always jump in the community and ask questions as well. 
The key thing when you're working with Articulate 360 is to know that you have all sorts of tools and assets available to you to help build great e-learning courses. And we're really committed to you being successful. So choose the tool you want to use. Watch those Getting Started tutorials. You're going to learn how to use all the tools. There's some practice activities. And then jump in the community and ask if you have any questions. We're always there to help you.